So the CDC just approved adding COVID shots to vaccine schedules. I think that means for kids. We're going to talk about that in another segment. Kids are at almost zero risk from COVID. So what do you th- why do you think they're doing that? And guess what they did right after that? Right after that, you CDC approved adding COVID to the shots for vaccine schedules. Boom, Pfizer is going to hike up their price of their vaccine. Shh. It went from 30 bucks to 110 to 130 dollars per dose. It's actually working the opposite of how capitalism is supposed to work, right? Because less people are taking the shot now. No, people aren't taking the shots. They have the United States government bought all these millions of doses and like nobody's taking them. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's just a welfare to big pharma. Right. They're just giving them money for vaccines that nobody's taking. And so when the demand goes down, the price is supposed to go down. Demand goes down. They jack the price up because you know why? Who pays this? The government and insurance companies. So they're jacking that price up. Pfizer Inc. expects to roughly quadruple the price of its COVID-19 vaccine to about $110 to $130 per dose after the U.S. government's current purchase program expires. Pfizer executive Angela Lucan said on Thursday. Lucan said she expects the vaccine currently provided for free to all by the government and that made Pfizer $100 billion, so it's not free will be made available at no cost to people who have private insurance or government-paid insurance. And they just get to jack up that price from 30 bucks to 130 bucks. Why is that? Why, why Why not $230? Why not $530? How do they get to do that? Why do they just get to randomly set a number that makes them $100 billion? Shouldn't Pfizer just make a billion dollars off the vaccines? Why are they making $100 billion? Shouldn't they just be, why, why are they allowed to do that? They just get to set their price. So that's, that's a high price if they made $100 billion in a year and a half off of their vaccines. They're, they're really overcharging for that vaccine. Why, why, do, why are they allowed to charge that? Why doesn't the government say, we're not going to pay you that? We're gonna, we'll let you make a profit, but not $100 billion. We'll let you make, how about just a billion? Do you know how much $12 billion is? $12 billion is what all the recording music makes in the United States. Every, in a whole year, every piece of recorded music that earns money, they generates $12 billion a year in the United States. So you know how much they're making? $100 billion. Whoa, you know how much power that gives you? That gives you enough power to buy everybody in local and state government and federal government and everybody in the media. That's how much money they're making. And nobody will, no, they're not going to do a segment like this on MSNBC or CNN or Fox News. They're not going to do a segment like this telling the truth about what's happening because they're funded by Big Pharma to the tune of 70%. Reuters earlier, Reuters, by the way, completely captured by Big Pharma, they said Thursday reported that Wall Street was expecting such price hikes due to a weak demand for COVID vaccines. That's not how capitalism works. You don't raise the price when demand goes down. Why do they get to do that? Because they own the government. Big Pharma is corrupted the government. Big Pharma, Big Pharma, the biggest criminals in the world. They put asbestos in baby powder. They got half the country hooked on heroin. They sold you heart medicine that made your, gave you a heart attack. And they knew it. Those people are now raising the price of their vaccine that people don't want to take anymore. That's not how it's supposed to work unless you're the mafia. And they are. Big Pharma is the mafia. And Rachel Maddow, Chris Hayes, Anderson Cooper are their bitches. I, I love this. It's it's insane. This is insane. Like com- this is like watching the mafia operate. They're doing it right out in the open, and still my friends won't criticize this. Still my friends in comedy don't want you to do your own research. Still my friends, go look at their channels. Not one fucking video about Big Pharma. Not one. Go ahead, Jackson. Um, 
They're, you, you it's right out in the open. You don't have to be an investigator to see this. No. You read Economics 1. And what what is it? I mean, we're, uh, supposedly we have a free market. But here they're telling you, well, demand is low, so they're going to jack their prices beyond belief. So they meet for, for, uh, revenue forecasts. Not so they make money. So they meet revenue forecasts. You can tell who's posing a real issue for the Biden administration and who's getting the you know, BJ under the table from the Biden administration when you look at this and you compare it to what Biden's saying about, you know, the energy companies right now, the energy companies who he's blaming for the energy crisis on. And he's saying, well, they need to lower their rates. They need to stop doing these stock buybacks. Local gas stations need to stop jacking their prices. Why isn't he saying any of that stuff about Pfizer Pfizer or Moderna or any of these other companies who are jacking their uh, rates for vaccines that no one's taking? So that so the reason so I'm going to read this paragraph to you again. Reuters earlier on Thursday reported that Wall Street was expecting such price hikes due to weak demand for COVID vaccines, which meant vaccine makers would need to hike prices to meet revenue forecasts for 2023 and beyond. That that's the only reason. So we just have to quadruple our price because we had a forecast. That's how it works. No, that's not how it works. That's how it works if you're corrupt and you're a mafia, and they are. And our government is a hundred percent corrupted and bought by big pharma. So that's what that's how that works. So and the way Reuters writes this, can uh can you find out who wrote this? Who's the person? Watch it be staff or something. Yeah. So the way they write it is for you to to seem that that makes sense. Do you see how they wrote it? It says, oh, no, Wall Street was expecting this. So that means, oh, this is how it works. And if Wall Street was expecting it. Too big to fail. Wall Street was expecting that the government's completely corrupted. And so is Big Pharma. And they would do this criminal thing. That's that they could have said that. That's not what they said. They made it seem like this is normal. Reuters tried to make this seem like it is normal. This is not normal. This is the exact opposite of how capitalism works. And that's why it's criminal. And that's why it's corrupt. Did you find out who wrote no, this article yet? Not yet. We're okay. still looking. Okay. The U.S. government currently pays 30 bucks a dose. In 2023, the market is expected to move to private insurance after the U.S. public health emergency expires. How do they know it's going to expire in 2023? How do they know that the emergency, by the way, the emergency, a lot of people are saying, has been over for quite a while. Now, that's not what the local health authorities say, so I'm just telling you that's what people are saying. That's not the truth. Of course, we're in a big emergency still. Otherwise, why would they get their emergency use authorization? Don't you feel like we're in a big emergency? Uh, so does the emergency use authorization expire along with the public health emergency? Hmm. We are confident that the U.S. price point, price point for a vaccine, that's how that's when they're it. talking, that the price point of the COVID-19 vaccines reflects its overall cost effectiveness and ensures the price will not be a barrier for act. So you just jack it up from thirty to one hundred and thirty dollars. You know, it's not going to be a barrier. It is not yet clear what kind of access people without health insurance will have to the vaccine. I'm going to guess none, unless the government buys it for them. Michael Michael Ehrman. Oh, Michael Ehrman wrote this. Michael Ehrman, big pharma money coming into Michael Ehrman's pockets. Nice. Pfizer said it expects the COVID-19 market to be about the size of the flu shot market <sighs> on an annual basis for adults. But the pediatric market would take longer to build. The pediatric, they're going to have to build the pediatric market for COVID-19 shots. I don't I guess I, I don't know what I, how much I can say right now because YouTube will take my channel down. But I I I think the people who work at Big Pharma should be in jail. That's what I think. I'm not allowed to say anything about this cuz they'll take my channel down, but the people from Big Pharma should be in jail. 
Uh, hey, you want to see another market that they're building? Pfizer's not the only business looking to take advantage of the growing pediatric market. You want to see who else is? I've been into fashion since I can remember. But one day, I had a stomach ache so bad, I didn't want to do anything. The team at New York Presbyterian said it was actually my heart. It was severely swollen. Something called myocarditis. But doctors gave me medicines and used machines to control my heartbeat. They saved me. So now I can become the next great fashion designer. Hmm. There's your pediatric market. They invented a pediatric market for myocarditis. Isn't that fantastic? We have a new market. And they make it seem normal. Uh, and this is Reuters. Now, if you want to know, uh, the chairman of the Thomson Reuters Foundation, that's this guy, James C. Smith. He's the chairman of the Thomson Reuters Foundation. That's a London-based charity supported by Thomson Reuters. He's also the president and chief executive officer of Thomson Reuters, a provider of intelligent information for businesses and professionals from 2012 through March 2020 and its chief operating officer from September 2011 to December 2011. From September 2011 to December 2011, sorry. Gee, I wonder why writers would write this as a straightforward business story, quoting a Pfizer executive throughout, but include no critiques of this massive price hike on a product with such a potential impact on public health. Why, why, why? Hmm. Mm hmm. Um, anything you have to say about this, Jackson the Hair Hinkle? I just, I'm not surprised. And even if this dude isn't, uh, whatever his name is, Thomas Hearn, even if they're not taking, um, you know, money from Big Pharma or anything like that, the no, problem. No, no. This guy is the chairman of, he's also on board of Pfizer. Oh, I'm talking about the author oh, of okay. the Reuters article. Right. Uh, what I was saying was, even if he's not taking money, these people are just so brainwashed. Uh, what what do they call it? It's um, they have a, they have a phrase for it. It's uh, cognitive dissonance or self censorship mm, or mass formation psychosis. Oh, uh, okay. They just, it's just completely people are completely delusional now. You know, it's the same people that were writing for Reuters. Uh, a, cu a couple of years ago that the vaccine was going to do all these incredible things and was going to make sure that um, well, you can't even say that on YouTube anymore, but, you know, protect you entirely from COVID. Uh -huh. That's what they were saying. And it comes out and they're writing stuff like he, he's written articles I see about how Biden's getting COVID after he's already been vaccinated. They're just so delusional to the lies that they tell yet they tell new lies like every other month. Yeah, they just there's a new lie this month and then they push it and then they forget about the old lie that they told and they convince themselves they're doing good. They're fighting Trumpers. And if they have to lie to do it, that's worth it. It's one lie after another. And it is weird that this article, the person who wrote this article didn't push back about the price, the price spike. It just it made sense the way they wrote it. It made it make sense to the reader. Oh, no, Wall Street was expecting this. This is all. Oh, this is totally, ex it, which means it's okay. No. 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 How about you put that in the article? And that's fucking bullshit. And that just yeah. goes to show you how criminal our establishment media is, along with Big Pharma and our government. Completely corrupted, 100%. <laughs> this guy, also chairman of... <laughs> It's something that you Pfizer knew who to get. Isn't it some isn't it funny? It's Pfizer knew who to get. Jesus Christ. Hey, we're gonna see you in Miami, West Palm Beach, Denver, Palm Springs, Austin, Burbank. That's right. The Saturday after Thanksgiving here in Burbank and lots of dates in Los Angeles in December. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all our tickets. And join our premium program when you go there too.